My name is Matt Yankovic. As a part of NATM Safety Week, we're going to be talking about GVWR, Gross Vehicle Weight Ratings. We'll cover how to find your trailer's GVWR, how we as a manufacturer assign that value, and how that value corresponds to your tow vehicle. Okay, your vehicle identification number will be located at the lower front of the driver's side wall on your trailer. Up at the top, you're going to have the manufacturer. Below it, you're going to have the GVWR. In this case, the single axle trailer is rated at 2,990 pounds. The tandem axle trailer is going to be rated at 7,000 pounds. Also, on your tire tag, you're also going to find the payload. In the case of the single axle trailer, payload is rated at 1,570 pounds. For the tandem axle trailer, payload is rated at 4,180 pounds. So now that we know what the trailer's GVWR is, let's quickly review how we as a manufacturer assign those ratings. We look at all rated components, all structural components, and all state and federal laws when assigning these values. First off, we evaluate all structural components internally, as far as the frame, A-frame, cross members, vertical posts, and all that. Next, we look at the primary means of attachment, more commonly known as a coupler. The single axle trailer has a coupler rating of 5,000 pounds. The tandem axle trailer has a coupler rating of 14,000 pounds. We then look at the secondary means of attachment, which includes the safety chain, the hook, and the weld link. The single axle trailer has an assembly rated at 5,200 pounds. The tandem axle has an assembly rated at 7,600 pounds. We then look at the axles. The single axle has a tire rating of 1,820 pounds. There are two of them for a gross rating of 3,640 pounds. The tandem axle also has a rating of 1,820 pounds. There are four of them for a gross rating of 7,280 pounds. So all of these components meet or exceed the trailer's GVWR. You will note on the single axle trailer that we have derated the trailer to 2,990 pounds. That is because each state sets its own brake laws. So for the majority of states, 2,990 pounds will allow you to register this trailer in any state without any problem. When we look at the tow vehicle, automobile manufacturers follow the same general procedure and set a guideline of what their vehicles can tow based off of the GVWR. These values can be found in the owner's manual. Once you know your vehicle's capacity, we need to evaluate the hitch components in the same fashion we evaluated the trailer components. To start off, we're going to look at the hitch assembly first. This hitch comes direct from Toyota and has the 500 pound tongue weight capacity. The ball is a two inch ball rated at 5,000 pounds and also maintains the GVWR. Lastly, we need to look for any aftermarket modifications that may have negatively affected the GVWR. Popular items such as aftermarket rims and tires, lift kits, and other suspension mods may have inadvertently decreased your vehicle's GVWR or towing capabilities. If everything checks out on paper, the last thing you need to do is evaluate the overall condition of the tow vehicle and the trailer. Items such as squeaky brakes, worn tires, loose steering components, damaged components, or rusted frames all need to be addressed before you consider towing a trailer. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please reach out to us through social media.